Previously, I encountered five adults, the youngest at 33 and the oldest at 60. Jager, with a reading age of just six years old, was found to be dyslexic. He is finally getting the specialised help he needs to even begin reading. When the vowel sound is short, what is the sound? Eh. Eh. Jimmy dropped out of school for the gang life. How do you spell laughing? F -E. Laughing. Laughing. You've learned this before. Now, at age 60, he is finally picking up the basics of English grammar and phonics. We go to museum. Past tense. When? We went to museum. So is Xiao Ling, who is used to letting others laugh at her poor pronunciation and reading skills. It's okay to let people laugh. Before they laugh at me, I laugh at myself. Now she has learned strategies to read multi-syllabic words. Unforgettable. Very good. Finally, Stefan used to shy away from others to conceal his poor language skills. After 10 lessons, Stefan can now read long scripts on stage under the glare of a live audience. There is a huge and hairy... What? Where? Spider is on your shoulder! In this episode, with just one month of lessons left... It's not enough. You want to go up? Yeah. The five prepare to tackle the goals they set for themselves. But have all of them improved enough to accomplish their goals? Okay. And number seven will be... Take your time, take your time. Especially when we learn that one of them is forced to pull out from his lessons one whole month ahead of time. that Stefan is going to be going away for two months. Uh, I'm going to Europe. Marine engineers often sent to overseas. Will Faith be going with you? Uh, no. Do you think that there's reason for her to worry? Uh, I think, yeah, she will miss me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he should be worried. <laughs> because he's in a foreign country and they might use English extensively. <laughs> Faith seemed slightly annoyed, and I can understand why. Stefan had been very reliant on her to complete his work report. How do you think you're going to be able to cope? Either I use Google Translation, I use Google Translation, or I voice message to her. For example, when he was on a particular job, he couldn't uh, spell the word sludge. Then he tried the Google Translation, but they cannot recognize her, his words. So, so he quickly texts me and then um, he voice uh, messaged me, hey, how to spell this word? I need to write it inside my report. When I heard that Stefan had to leave, at first I thought it was a joke. I was very, very disappointed. I was worried that he didn't have enough lessons to improve sufficiently. Stefan, I'm going to challenge you to contact Faith fewer times this time around for work. And for Faith, don't worry, I'm going to show you why this time around, it could be different, okay? This was Stefan's first lesson. Oh, oh. Let's try to do some writing. Brisk. Brisk. Okay, click. Okay, the last word will be damp. Okay. Just so that both Faith and I have peace of mind, I'm going to ask you again how to spell those words, OK? okay. Let's start with clip, hair clip. C-L-I-P. Oh, OK. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> OK, next word. Brisk, brisk walk. V-R-S-E-E. -E. OK, I let the wifey uh, correct him. V-R-I-S-K. Uh, <laughs> I-S-K. Can I invite you to spell the word out loud for me again? B R 
I S K. Yes, <laughs> that is perfect. Okay, the last yeah. word, damp. D A M P. Yay! <laughs> hey, I jump higher than you. <laughs> Good job. It's. It, do you feel like he's he's moved on somehow? Yeah, I I felt. <laughs> I feel like actually he, he did uh, achieve something okay. through this room. Previously, when he was away, how often would he call you for work? Uh, maybe twice in a week. Okay. This time round, can I challenge you, Stefan, to cut that down by 50%? The calls, I mean. Okay. You think you can do 50%? Uh, yeah. Considering all his negative experiences when he was in school back then, he returned to the classroom. And that is amazing. Secondly, he came out of his shell. Look at him on stage. Don't eat the flower. It is poisonous. So we are really, really happy and we are really fortunate to have Stefan on the show. When Stefan first started, he had one goal. To write a one-page letter to his wife. He has never written anything longer than a text message to his wife since they got married. This writing, she can see it every time. Uh. Even though I'm not around, she can uh, feel the love. Uh. With just one week before he leaves, will he have improved enough to do just that? To buy our fur ash. Fresh pro produce. Produce. Excellent. Meanwhile, our other learners, Jager, Xiaoling, Jimmy, and Maya, are now in the final weeks of their intervention. The teacher won the ring mm -hmm. to herself. If I divide this, huh, mm. it will be X. X. P, P re, re, yen, yen, so okay. experiences. It's been almost three months since their first lesson. We have lunch in the cafe. So past tense is <laughs> had. Yeah, we had lunch in the cafe. When we started out on this journey, we got the learners to commit themselves to one to two lessons each week for three months. We figured that as busy working adults, that's all the time that they could commit. For their last lesson, I have a surprise for them. A visit from their resident cheerleader, hey. me. Because... Hello. 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 <laughs> so shocked. Hi. I didn't give you a shock, did I? Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. today is your last lesson. How much do you think you have improved? How much? Uh? Uh, maybe 100%, 60? Where would you like to be, actually? Maybe another 20 mark more, 80%. I recall that Xiaoling tends to be a little bit negative, so that may make it hard for her to be a fair judge of herself. So I'm going to show her some evidence of how far along she's come. We will let this video be the judge. What was born in, don't know what, in 1937? Uh -huh. Many don't know what call him. <laughs> so <laughs> embarrassing. His parents got divorced. I don't know. He's simple. Simple could not don't know what them and could could they don't know what many in one sitting. Ah. Can understand ah. <laughs> this one fail fail until very badly. <laughs> Baby, give me. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> Let's do a retest. Retest ah. This is the passage with the words she read wrongly or skipped over in red. Let's see how many she clears this time round. Wallace. Amos was born in Florida in 1937. Many fondly call him Wally. Young Wally went to live with his aunt Dar Darla. She always made him special chocolate chip cookies. He simply could not res resist them and could 
Devo many in one sitting. Wow! When you pronounce chocolate, uh, I did a little dance in my heart. Uh, because you did it so much better this that, time. That, round. That time I say chocolate, chocolate. Uh, <laughs> so okay. congratulations! Uh, Yay. Thank you! So based on the video and what you have done today, uh -huh. how many marks that upon time, one? That time is 20, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had 20 and another 50 just past 70. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, uh, 70 uh, is an A2 at O levels already. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So it's not bad. Do you uh, think you have gained a little more, bit uh, more confidence? Confident, confident, yes. Have. have. No, also, no need so many. Uh, uh, how to read? Yeah, what, what, what? Uh. <laughs> correct, correct. I hope Xiaoling actually meant what she said. Mm -hmm. I think all along, uh, she seems to suffer from a bit of uh, complex that somehow she's not good enough. I hope the past three months with us has shown her that no, she's got plenty to give. Xiaoling seems to have done pretty well. Wow, I'm what so proud of her. her. Yeah, absolutely. You should yeah. be proud of her. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, what is important for her to sustain that kind of momentum? Actually, I would like to continue with her. Yeah, because I think to break it is a bit, you know, of a waste. So I told her she can always come over to my house once a week and we can continue with that. Well, Xiaoling has won the heart of her teacher, another one of our learners isn't faring so well. Hey, buddy. Very. Very. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Healthy. Healthy. So Jimmy gave himself 4 or 5 out of 10. Do you agree with that assessment? Maybe one grade lower. Three months have passed and it's time to reveal just how much our learners have progressed. I'm particularly intrigued by how Jimmy has done. I get up at 7 o'clock. He started lessons with the reading level of a 7-year-old. He dropped out of school at primary 2 and now he's committing to 3 months of study in the classroom. So, I have to be honest, I had my doubts. So, what, what's the most difficult thing about having to study and learn again? Okay, start now I homework. Uh, got some problem. Uh. The teacher gave me the two... Hmm. So I try my best. Kudos to Jimmy for trying. I mean, he's holding a day job and he works six days a week. Okay, Jimmy, I'm going to show you something, okay? Uh, what activities in the box? Can you read this one? Can you see it? Go to the China. Go to the, not China, yeah. but... Okay, okay, go to the cinema. Well done. This is... There. There. Mm -hmm. Q-O-T. Close. Favourite. Favourite. Why are you laughing? No good, no, no, no. How far along do you think you have come? Now I give me my point. Mm. I can get four and five. Four or five four upon five. ten. Yes, yes. And that's a lot of improvement compared to before, which you said is about one. I'm going to ask teacher for a passage. Are you game enough to try? This passage contains vocabulary words to do with food, which his teacher has gone over in lessons before. I'm going to see how much Jimmy has retained. I have... Your tell time? I have breakfast at home. I have... So it's cereal. Cereal. Mm -hmm. And... And yogurt. Yogurt. I think this everybody very very <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah. healthy healthy one more time yeah okay Kaiser I I have breakfast at home I have plus cereal cereals and yogurt yogurt I think is everybody Tian Kang. Healthy. <laughs> See that? Oh my gosh, I can feel the anxiety and the nervousness in your voice. So Jimmy gave himself four or five out of ten. Do you agree with that assessment? Maybe one grade lower. 
Uh, I think he kind of doesn't practice as much as he should. Right. You have taught other adult learners. Is it realistic to expect an adult learner to be as diligent as someone who is in school, for example? Well, that's true. At school, students have this external pressure to do it. For adults, it has to switch to more internal motivation. For Uncle Jimmy, he doesn't really have a more pressing issue. For example, he doesn't have to take a test. He doesn't have a job application he needs to get into. I can see where he's coming from, although he's a little bit harsh. Xiaoling, for example, is motivated by the fact that she wants to educate her daughter. Jager has a promotion at stake, so he knows that he needs to get better. Jimmy, uh, what exactly is his motivation? Having interacted with him these past months, I think I have an idea. There has been an occasion when Jimmy memorized many words, even rattle off long sentences. Can you help me find my glasses so I can look at you? It's when all eyes are on him, and he's got to show the best of what he's got. <laughs> Could having an audience motivate him to master an English song? Hello! Hello! <laughs> Jager has been receiving specialist help for a condition he's born with, dyslexia. Take the word shop. I can read it easily. For Jager, he can read each alphabet, but when he puts them together, they don't make sense. So he ends up guessing. That's just one word. Imagine a whole paragraph. Dyslexics need to use more mental bandwidth and special strategies to help them to read. So, Jager, how are the lessons going? It's very good, but mm, not enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. You come here twice a week and you feel that it's not enough. Yeah. This was him reading at the first lesson. In fact, it was this very book that you were reading. My name is... Chris. Tracy. All right, come to the next page. Yeah. My daddy. My daddy. Seeing the video of Jager at his first lesson, that's when it really hit me. It is hard for someone with dyslexia to read. Without an expert's help, even a simple word like D A D, dad, Jager couldn't read it. Helping my brother and me. Just don't know. Okay, it's okay. So I have the book here. Okay. Do you think you can attempt to read it for me? Mm, okay, I'll try. Okay. My name is Tess. Tess. Mm -hmm. This is my family. I live with my mom, dad. Big brother and little sister. My dad walk you use us to school every day. When we come home, mom gives us the a snack. You have been doing remarkably well so far. The course is until August, then this will be end, right? It's not enough. <laughs> Interesting to go. You more. want to go on? Yeah. From the moment he stepped into the classroom, his quiet confidence that I couldn't sense in all our other engagements, or maybe was it his sadness that it was his last lesson that day, that I felt that more than ever I was rooting for Jager. So what happens if he stops now? That's what uh, my main worry also. If he stops, there's tendency for him to regress. And then it might kill his motivation. So now he's eager, uh, eager to learn, right? So we really need to ride on the momentum. Correct. How many more lessons do you think we need to commit him to so that he is able to do this on his own? I think another 20 more lessons. Unfortunately, specialist help like that costs more than 100 US dollars per hour. It is unprecedented for Dyslexia Association of Singapore to even look for funding for an adult learner. Until he can raise the money, Jager will have to stop his learning here. I have one last person to check in with. Hi, Maya. Hi. 
Unlike the other four, Maya only lost her literacy skills after a stroke three years ago. She has a condition known as aphasia. That's when areas of the brain that deals with language is damaged. In Maya's case, by the stroke. So she now finds it hard to retrieve words she wants to say, affecting her speech. I've set her up with a senior speech therapist for the last three months. Can you tell me what is happening in the picture? Sinking under Good. floor. Okay. Holding a bowl. In the beginning of our show, when the others took a reading and writing test, Maya took a different test specific to her condition to assess her starting point. Now, can you read this for me? None. None. The other four are going to take a retest at the end of their lessons, but not Maya. It's only been three months. We can't repeat it so soon. Why not? Um, clinically, it's just not recommended. So how can we track her progress? For every session that Maya has attended, I've taken a lot of notes and I have compared that. So when I first met Maya, uh, Maya was not speaking very much. So uh, probably even single words were a little bit difficult. But she has um, continued on to using phrases and then using sentences and now actually in conversations. I am so happy for you. I think I have evidence as well. I'm going to show it to you. What time do you normally have dinner, Maya? Uh, early. Early? So it must be dinner time now. Are you hungry? Okay. Okay, all right. Are you going home for dinner or are you going to eat dinner somewhere around here? Uh, yes. Somewhere, okay. Um, You're starting everything, right? Mm -hmm. We cut her diet. Because she stayed six months in hospital. Yeah. She blew up close to 90 kilos. Okay, yeah, because you're not, we're not moving around. Last time. Okay. <laughs> yes, Melvin. <laughs> it's important to care for a woman when we talk about our weight. So, what do you think? Satisfied. Satisfied? Yes. Last time. Ah, uh, it was what? Two words. Okay. Sentai. <laughs> Mao. Dan. Five. Sun. Dan. Sons. <laughs> that is fabulous. You know what is the one other thing I've noticed from the video? Melvin was there with you. So where is Melvin now? He's at home. So you've been coming to lessons on your own? Yes. How many times? Three times. Maya can come for sessions on her own now. Previously, she was very reliant on her caregiver um, because communication was not there. But now that her language is coming out, we are confident that you know if she goes out on her own, if she needs help, she'll be able to approach a stranger and she'll be able to ask for help um, on her own. This is Stefan's last date with his wife before he has to fly off to Europe for work. Two months is the longest that I've ever been a partner. Yeah. I decided to write a letter because just to appreciate her and to remind my, my, myself that uh, she also accept me that I am who I am. Of. Hello. <laughs> wow, it's a new place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, have you packed your luggage already? Haven't yet. <laughs> Actually, we are not very romantic type of uh, couple. I am more expressive than her, actually. She more more shy. Introvert. <laughs> if you're not at home, then I'll be alone for two months with Wait, right your father. <laughs> your mom and dad will miss you. I don't know what to do without you. Dad will also miss you. 
That never miss me ah. Miss me by your food ah. <laughs> Honestly, when I say is uh, your mother will miss you or your, your dog will miss you, but actually deep down is I feel <laughs> a bit lost ah, without without him around. I think I will miss him the most. Well, it looks like it's too much for our shy couple to express their mushy feelings out loud. Will a written letter help bridge that? At the start of the program, each of our five adults set a goal. It's time to see if three months of lessons can get them there. Hey, something for you. Eh. What is it? Uh, My birthday now. Yeah. A love letter. <laughs> <laughs> In our relationship for so long, I have never seen him written me like uh, more than 10 words. For him to write me a whole one-page letter, I know it's not easy. Let me read it to you first. <laughs> uh, dear, dear, dear. Through the years, we have been married. You have made me a better person. In my eye, you are always amazing and charming lady. Your sense of humor adds colors and joy to our life. I will always shower you with love. To love you as my wife. Yeah. I cannot believe you write everything by yourself. And Nobody got you. Got got a little bit only. Oh, because the sentence structure very good. Want to see? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually <clears throat> impressed. <laughs> you must put in really, really a lot of effort. Your English has improved a lot. <laughs> Never received any love letter this past five years. <laughs> This one is too precious already. <laughs> Money also cannot buy. <laughs> Over at the Pan Pacific Hotel, I find out that Jager's goal of placing food tags is far more ambitious than we realize. Guess how many food tags there are at a buffet? Can't be that many, right? Here's the answer. Over a hundred. I'm here at Pan Pacific Hotel Singapore, where Jager works at the restaurant. As an F&B executive, he has to take down reservations and orders despite having dyslexia. It's incredible that Jager has been doing this for 15 years. Uh, I reckon he has found ways of doing things without actually being able to read and write by memorizing, for example. But there is just one task that he can't do without his colleague's help, and that is to read and place the buffet food tags in the right spots. With over a hundred tags for the dinner buffet, Jager found the task impossible if he just tried to memorize the tags without reading them. Today, after 18 lessons, Jager is ready to take a baby step towards his goal. I've picked 11 of the 100 over tags, ranging from just short words to this monster of a tag. And I've asked him to meet me here just before his shift. Now remember that you don't think you are worthy of a promotion until you can at least place the food tax. Yes, correct. Okay, so yeah. I have something for you today. Oh, okay. Food tax. <laughs> okay. No, 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 don't look away, don't look away. Okay. This is only 10% of the 100 over food tags that are normally used at a regular buffet here. Let's see if you can place them in the right position. Okay. Remember I... to use the techniques that the teachers have taught you. Yeah. All right, all the best. Thank you. Here you go. I try. Just read it out loud and go for it. Yeah. Star oyster. Okay. Hey, one down. Mushroom, mushroom soup. Yeah. Where is it? It's a scallop. Yeah, scallop. 
Singapore, Singapore, chill, chill. Uh oh, I will skip this one first. Great, red great, something fish. Great, great fish. Okay, red crawfish. You got it. Okay, the words are getting longer and longer. <laughs> Chicken with bacon. This is not bacon. Oh. Bean sprout. Bean sprout. Bean sprout. Should be this one. Let's try the Singapore one. Come. Singapore uh -huh. chili crab yes. with the deep, deep. fried go co It's a color. Gold. Yes, go very good. Golden, golden. man man tau. Man tau. Okay. Man tau. You can pronounce it even if you don't know what it is. Okay, we're now left with two tags. Yeah. They are very, very long, the mm. words. This is the should be the pasta. Both are pastas, that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> Mushroom Great. and truffle oil. And this truffle one. oil, this one. Yeah. And the last and one that's trying one, to read it. Fusilli. Fusilli mm -hmm. pasta with egg, plant, 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 mm -hmm. and tomato sauce. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. You got all the tags correct, albeit with a little bit of help from me, but okay. great job. Yeah. What I didn't tell you was, we were timing you while you were doing the tags, mm. and you took about six minutes for 11 tags. Oh, okay. The not so good news is, I was told by your manager that your colleagues usually take about 10 minutes mm. to do over 100 tags. Mm. That means that to place 11 tags, you actually need to take only about one minute. So I challenge you to place the same tags in a minute and a half. Okay. Ready? Go. I could give him a countdown, but that would really stress him out. 30 seconds passed. Check it out, it's 45 seconds. Good job, but yeah. I need to check that it's all correct. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Let me check. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, Scare you only lah, correct? No, no. <laughs> he was really worried. You know, I have to be honest, I didn't think that Jager was going to do it. He was struggling a bit in the first round, but he actually did it. I'm really, really happy for Jaga because he was quietly confident. You got it, 45 seconds. Why were you so confident? Because I go through with you just now. Then after that, I remember in my mind, then I just put back. So now, when you look at the text and the words on the text, what do you see? Alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not alien for me now. Right. So Maybe... you used to run away from it. Yeah. But now I want to go further. Can you just tell yourself they are just alphabets? They are just an alphabet. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> do they got any homework? Yes. Later you must do, ah. Uh. Okay. Xiaoling joined the program with the goal of being able to read primary five spelling test words. Specifically, her daughter's spelling lists, so she can help her daughter with the English subject. Spat. Spaghetti leg ah. Alamak. I don't know to read eh. Just now that one, what? Fronted ah. Fronted. Fronted. Okay, another one, the other one. What drew upper ah? Drew up. <laughs> I don't know how to read lah. Ha. Ro what ro rocking his brain? Ah. I'm here today mm -hmm. to see if by now you can try to read her spelling list. Would you have it with you? Oh, no, let me take out. Okay, don't show me. Don't show me. Help me to see how many words on the spelling list. Ten. Ten words. Ten words. Okay. Try to focus his thoughts. Okay, one point. Okay. Move on. Okay, number two. Refresh that on. Try again. Okay. Remember your T's and your. Oh, okay. Refresh 
reflected on? Is it reflected on? Yeah. Okay, I count as one mark. Can. Okay. Show me, uh, you keep track for Tell me. Uh. Okay. okay. Racking his brain. Woo! Is that it? Correct or not? Right, racking? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. You didn't have to rack your brain to read uh, okay. that. <laughs> oh, Three okay. points. Three points. Okay. okay. Number four, I try. Uh. Uh, spark, uh, sparkalic. Okay. Was it speculate? Uh, yeah. Okay, speculate. speculate. So okay. We, we we don't count that okay. point. Next one. To recall. To recall. Yeah. Okay. Recall. We count one. Count one. Okay. okay. Number seven will be uh fruit uh fruit. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, Remember what Bichu taught you. Okay. Uh, a bit hard for me this one. Floated ah. Floated. F R E T T E D. Fretted. Oh, sorry. F R E T T E D. Ah. Fretted. Fret, fretted. Pros and cons. Woo! Oh, wow. Number eight. Uh, domed up. Up. Uh, up. 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 Break it up. Break it up. Domed. Up. 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 I don't understand. Can you the whole sentence? Okay. It finally. Don't upon him that there was no escape. She got it. So how many marks already? Strictly, it's five and a half. So Xiaoling did not pass with flying colors. <laughs> but I think that's missing the point. Xiaoling did try. English letters, alphabets, are no longer perfect strangers to her. When she looks at a word, her, her, her mind goes into autopilot. This is what my teacher told me. Teacher teach me to break it out, then slowly you catch up. That was just the spelling list. How would Xiaoling do in her final reading test scores? Xiaoling, you have improved by... Wow, so <laughs> surprised, eh? really. Eh? Yeah. Cover. Ah, okay, can. I hold it there. Eh? You go further and see, see whether can or not. Okay, ma. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got champagne and we've got all this shiny, shiny thing. Do you know what we are celebrating today? I celebrate my. Well, I update my English. Jimmy is our oldest and most unlikely participant. As a former gang member who barely went to school. He had the hardest time adjusting to the classroom life. Let's look at this up close. Can you guess what word this is? Joy, journey. What has been so difficult because about your journey? I got many, many temptations. Sometimes my old friend, my old brother, my last time gangster brother, under my hand one, also come to find me. Say, boss, come out, ah, come out. I know one. Because I go there, ah, I know ah, I. I go one time, still got two time, still got three time. Uh, so first time, I know one I can. I want to take care of my mom. So I think that I cannot go in. I cannot enjoy. I realized that uh, I had forgotten about how easy it is for him to go back to his past. After all, he had done it numerous times. Jimmy hopes learning English will help him integrate into society better, so he won't be tempted to go back to his old ways. Earlier, his teacher expressed a worry that Jimmy wasn't learning as well as he could. But I may know a way to motivate him better. There was one instance when Jimmy really applied himself, and that's during the theatre performance. He had a long script to remember, but he did really, really well. Why do you think that is so? Well, Uncle Jimmy does love an audience, so he needs to showboat a little. And with that as his motivator, I think that will help him spur him on to improve his English more. Well, if that's what it takes to motivate Jimmy, I'll say, let's go for it. Not only is he going to sing in English, it's going to be a real spectacle with an audience to motivate Uncle Jimmy.
I am Jimmy, very thank you, your brother and sister. Come to enjoy my singing. Yeah. Very thank you, your brother and sister. Amazing grace, how she loves us. The same flashy Jimmy. I want Some parts of Jimmy will not go away. Jimmy loves to have plenty of friends, slapping people on the back, telling them, you know, one on one, bro, I'm talking to you. That's him. That's his kind of leadership. And I don't think we want Jimmy to lose that. As my, my Thank you, brother, sister. Thank you, brother, sister. Frozen. Nine. Earlier, we tested the reading levels of our four learners again to find out how much they've improved after three months of lessons. Hello. Hi. We have gathered here to reveal the results. Hi. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Welcome, very sit down. Well, you're all very, very on time. Thank you very much. All of you took a reading and writing test right at the beginning. Oh, yes. And then at the end of your lessons, you took another test, and I have the results. For Jager and Jimmy, in the short time that you have had lessons, your reading age has improved by four months. Four months, huh? Mm -hmm. Was that surprise good or surprise bad? Good. It's good. This means Jimmy went from the reading age of a seven-year-old starting primary school to a primary one student with four months of lessons. And Jager, who's been stuck at the level of a preschooler at six years and four months, also progressed four months in his reading age. Jager, your thoughts? How do you feel? OK, good. At least I read something. <laughs> Just don't be give up, then just continue. So, Xiao Ling. The one called what? Drum roll. Yeah, drum roll. Yeah, correct, correct. Drum roll. Xiao Ling, for you and Stefan, both of you have improved by one year. Wow, so so high. Uh. <laughs> I'm so surprised, uh, really. Uh. Yes, <laughs> but why are you surprised? It's surprised that. Can so so many man I mean can improve so much as, uh, can improve so much. Huh? Xiao Ling's reading level was previously at seven years four months. She jumped eight months in less than half that time to reach the literacy level of an eight-year-old. That's equivalent to primary two. Stefan, meanwhile, jumped a full year from seven years eight months to eight years eight months. He's now just four months shy of the reading age of a primary three student. As for Maya, how do you think you're doing with the lessons? Very happy. Very happy? Yeah. Why? Because uh, every time Rita train me, she is more than a teacher. Yeah. She is a friend. Mm. Looks like it's dessert. Wow. Maya, you remember what your goal was? Yes. Although Maya does not have to do a test, she still wants to complete her goal like the others. Stefan wrote a one-page letter to his wife. Well, more than a page, actually. Jager wanted to place food tags without a colleague's help. He managed to place 11 tags in just 45 seconds. Xiaoling yearned to be able to read spelling test words for her daughter. She successfully read half of the words. And Jimmy managed to sing an English song flawlessly in front of a cherished audience. For Maya, she hopes to order food on her own. This will be the first time in three years she will be speaking to a complete stranger. 
Can we take our orders, please? Thanks. Can I have the waffles with the ice cream? Okay, give me the three scoop of ice cream. Can I have one Nutella chocolate cake? Mm. Can I order burnt cheesecake? Burnt cheesecake? Yes. Burnt cheesecake? No. no. Yeah. Do you want to say something? Thanks. 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 I wasn't surprised that Maya was able to order her food so confidently that day because she was surrounded by people who knew to be patient with her. I hope that was a starting point for her. <gasps> that looks sinful. Look delicious. How's the cheesecake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over the last three months, I have met up with them so often. These are people with rich, sometimes checkered pasts, but that's not to say that they cannot have a different future. Having known these guys, I wish them the very best moving forward. And if you see them on the road, say hi and tell them that you are cheering them on too. <laughs>